friends. Welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. So I can only jump in and show you one dried result. Unfortunately, I uh, might have misplaced or poured over the other piece <laughs> that makes this the two fur, but I can show you the dried results of the, of the swipe here. Came out really nicely, as you can see, we've got a nice graduation of colors going through there and the cells just stretching beautifully. See if I can catch the light. There we go, picking up the picking up the interference pigment there, or well, not the interference, piggy, yeah, piggy golden peach. So there you go, that's the first color. Let's get straight onto colors. There's the golden peach uh, by this little piggy. It's this gorgeous, very, very light, subtle pink color that has an amazing gold flash to it. I'm trying to get the camera to pick it up. There we go, I think. But yeah, that's going down first and that's going to be great because we're only using three colors and the next two, one of them being uh, the yellow and this is yellow light Hansa yellow. And as you can see, it's transparent there by the empty little square. And then the next color we're using, it's another Liquitex. This is the uh, gouache and this is the fluorescent violet. Yes, fluorescent violet. And as you can see here, fluorescent violet is semi-opaque. So we have these two beautiful colors to look down through, and then we're gonna have golden peach at the bottom, shining and reflecting up through them. So that's the nice simple color palette, guys. So a nice uh, gold, which is neutral, but then this lovely dusty pink, and of course goes with the yellow and goes with the fluorescent violet. So that's enough of me chitty chatting and waffling away we'll get the camera pointing down and we're gonna to start to paint, okay? Okay then, my friends, on to the voiceover. And the first thing I should say is that's a six inch round. And I think maybe I put down an ounce, maybe two at the most, of the white pillow. And the white pillow paint is the Glidden Premium in white satin. I know many people use the, uh, the uh, basics and the eggshell. I use the white satin in the premium just because I find it has less air bubbles. So that beautiful color I was just putting down there, that's the TLP Golden Peach. It's a beautiful, beautiful peachy pink color with a gorgeous gold iridescent flash to it. And as you can see, just getting the last little bits out because we want this, as much of that as we can basically. Same with the next color. This is the uh, light yellow Hansa by Liquitex, a soft body acrylic. I think I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, lovely vivid yellow, giving us a great contrast with the light pink below it. And now with the fluorescent violet, an even better contrast to the all three paints. So I've just poured them on top of each other, not drizzled them. Sometimes I like to lay the colors down this way and other times in the drizzle fashion or however I feel at the time. So this is the uh, Shelley Art recipe of the Cell Activator, Australian Flow Troll with Amsterdam paint. And this color is permanent red violet. So excuse me for a minute while I blow this out. And let's go into a close up so we can see the cells popping up and a bit more detail. So, I've mentioned the Shelley Art Cell Activator recipe. If you'd like to know what Shelley Art is, it's an online acrylic pouring course, one that I highly recommend. And I also have a 15% off discount code. And when I've given you the time to write down the web address, I shall put the discount code up on the screen now. So just giving the, giving the bloom a couple of little more blows, trying to break, break up that cell activator, help it sink. But I'm sure you'll agree, these three colors just really <laughs> pop off each other and really give us for a really vivid bloom. As you can see, I'm really aiming my blow as best I can to break up that cell activator. As we all know, the blow, the blow out from, for a bloom technique is always 
very tricky and one of the trickiest parts to actually master. But I didn't, I don't think I did so well here. Or oh, so badly, rather. So yeah, we're just watching those beautiful cells pop up. The two petals on the bottom left at the moment are absolutely gorgeous with the yellow hands are ringing the cells. But in we go for some modifications, just to add a little more interest to the edge of the bloom, in case any of these little bits remain on the canvas after we spin it out. But they usually all come off and we just get a nice little swirly pattern around the edge. considering whether to do some more. But no, just wetting the edges. Now for all of the beginners and all of the people that are watching for the first time, I just get a little bit of the pillow paint and wet the edges of the canvas. I feel this helps the paint. When you spin the piece, this helps the paint meet the edge and flow down nicely over it onto the board and helps us maintain and contain the uh, messy paint. <laughs> As you can see my finger just on the spinner board here, friends, just in case any of the drips that make it down make it out to the edge and we stop them from flying off. In for a nice close up though. Wow. And then we go for the second spin, the anti clockwise spin. Again, you can see my finger just at the top catching a drip before it makes it out anywhere to the edge. So yes, those cells there on the bottom left, fantastic, real jelly beans. So I'm really loving these simple three color blooms. And we go for a nice close up, my friends. There we go. And beautiful. So after looking at the design again, I figured I could actually practice and do some floating heart bloom, uh, floating hearts. So this, you can do this by finding nice round cells and just dragging a line straight down through the middle of them and you'll make a series of hearts that appear to be floating down through your bloom. Really pretty, there we go. Now I wish I'd actually left it here but I do one more just over here and now better sense prevails and I leave it alone. <laughs> so there you go guys, showing that you can modify your fluid art after you've already spun it out. And let's go in for a nice close up. Fantastic, those hearts look amazing. And I'm so, I'm so unhappy that I cannot find this piece anymore. But in for the last close up, Beautiful. Okay, my friends, so now we go on to the Tufa. Yes, the first time I've ever done this, a Tufa free lesson Wednesday. So now we're going to do a swipe on this eight by 10. And there's the last of the golden peach going down. <laughs> and now the uh, Hansa Yellow, I believe it's called Hansa Yellow by Liquitex, their soft body acrylic. And now the fantastic fluorescent violet from Liquitex that's just gonna give us an amazing contrast between everything. Pow, <laughs> really quite amazing. I love these simple color palettes. They're really doing it for me lately. So here we go, that's the swiping tool I'm going to be using. And we're going to be using the Shelly Art Cell Activator recipe again, the Australian Flow Troll Amsterdam paint. And this time, this one is the Prussian Blue. So while we're just waiting for me to bit the, put the cell activator on and swipe this, I would love to tell you about our Facebook group, The Joy, uh, sorry, a critic crazy train group on Facebook. Please search us out. We're a fantastic safe space and a critic safe space where beginners can share and learn without fear. So that's the a critic crazy train crazy train group. Apologies for getting it wrong, friends. 
And I just noticed there, I've also got some of the uh, permanent red violet as the cell activator, as well as the Prussian blue. So when we go for a nice close up and we can see these cells popping up, looking fantastic. And while we're doing that, I'd love to tell you about the, our show on a Sunday, The Joy of Pouring. Live every Sunday at 2 p.m. PST on this channel, we have a live show, The Joy of Pouring, with me, Cy Frost. I'd just like to let you guys know that there will be no Joy of Pouring this Saturday coming, and I believe it's the Saturday, the 30th, uh, Sunday, the 30th. There will be no Joy of Pouring because I shall be traveling to Mexico to visit my father-in-law. So just once again, no joy of pouring next Sunday on the 30th. But we will return on the 6th, I believe. 6th of November, yes. So if you like what you see here, my friends, I would really love if you would uh, visit my Facebook group, uh, sorry, my Facebook store, my shop, on Facebook at Frosty Eye Candy. The link to my store is in the detailed descriptions in this video, and many of the pieces, including this one, are for sale as soon as I get round to loading them up on this store, and you can peruse many, many pieces of work, and lots of them are actually from creation videos. So once again, please visit my Facebook store. The URL, the address, is in the descriptions for this video. So those cells are looking fantastic. We've got a great structure across the, across the canvas and in we go for the first spin. Keeping it in real time so the beginners and those just learning can see how long and how fast I spin for. This is really quite important, I feel. Very nice, very nice indeed. So may I just remind you guys, anybody that's watching that hasn't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, you can interact in the live chats during the premieres, and you can like and leave comments on the videos that you see. I would really love you to do this, and especially like the videos, because the more likes the videos get, the more likely the videos are like to be the more the videos are likely to be recommended by YouTube. I'm sorry guys for getting my tongue tied there. But in we go guys, very pretty as you can see, nice close up. And we've got a great cell structure right across the piece. Worked out really, really well. So nice 360 close up of the piece. It's looking nice, it's looking good, and as you could see from the uh, intro at the beginning of the video, it dried really nicely, and I can't wait to get a coat of resin on it. So then, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe, and above all, happy pouring.